Hello. Um, I had, uh, hopefully the bird doesn't chirp too badly through all of this. Um, I had talked to a few people in the last couple of weeks um, about them not being able to attend a class that I was having. And so I had planned to, for today at one o'clock on a Saturday, um, do a, an essential oils class. Um, and I had a few people that were actually going to come over and do this class with me, but Saturdays are kind of unpredictable. So they ended up that they had something that they had to do. So I'm actually going to be doing this class online, um, live for people who were not able to make it out to some of my classes, um, in the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, this is my, by the way, this is my diffuser that's going, that's what's making all this mist that keeps going across my face here. So I wanted to start off with um, telling my story. I've actually um, had a lot of new people on Facebook in the last um, month. Uh, met a lot of people when I was down south, so I had a lot of new friends that I added on to Facebook. So not everybody knows exactly what my story is. People that have known me for years, um, most of them do know my story, especially most of the people in the oily community. Um, but some of my older friends too that may end up seeing this video may not really know my story. They might have known me from my childhood. Uh, so I really wanted to take a chance just to tell you quickly, or as quickly as I can, my story and then that'll kind of explain why I'm so into the essential oils. So first of all, my name is Jen Stewart. Um, I think you probably know me if you've got me on Facebook here or you might know me through a friend. I am almost 50 years old now, uh, happily married to a wonderful husband who's, I think, watching this right now from California. And um, we have six kids together and three grandkids. Um, we've had a very busy lifestyle and we've been entrepreneurs most of our lives having different businesses. And back in 2007, I think it is. 2006, we took a full year off and built our own home, which was a great experience. But in 2007, we started up a new business. And we started up a business doing something we had no knowledge about whatsoever, but bought it as an existing business. And what we bought was a commercial janitorial business. And the commercial janitorial business um, also had on it sort of like a construction side to it, um, building maintenance, and uh, it was something that we really knew nothing about. We knew how to run a business. We jumped in both feet. My husband took over sort of the construction side of the business. I took over the cleaning side of it. Um, it was a lot more than just going out and scrubbing toilets and vacuuming. We stripped floors and um, did complete cleanups after construction and buildings and things like that. And we really actually enjoyed it. We uh, were working seven days a week, just like we did when we were building our house the year before. Uh, we we're no stranger to hard work. Hi Lynn, hi Cam. And so it was something that um, we, ju we just sort of stove right into. Um, one thing I noticed is it wasn't long after we had bought the business, uh, three months or so, that I started feeling quite sick. Um, no sound. So I've talked all this time with no sound. Okay, hold on a second. Any sound now? Can you hear me, Lynn? Can anybody hear me? Hello, is there any sound at all? Can you let me know? I think there must be, otherwise Lynn, you wouldn't have mentioned. Cam says he can't hear me. Lynn, can you hear me? Okay, Lynn can hear me. Cam, maybe try rebooting your phone then. Okay, so <laughs> I hope everybody else can hear me. Okay, back to the story. So after about three months or so, I started feeling really sick. I had a lot of really nasty upset stomachs. I was having a lot of headaches. Um, my joints were hurting. Um, my knees had hurt since I was a teenager, so that wasn't anything new, but everything, like all my joints were hurting. They felt inflamed and red and sore. And I just generally was feeling like I really didn't have the energy I used to have. So, um, I 
kept working. Didn't really think too much about it. Thought, you know, just under the weather, overdoing it maybe a little bit. And then by the fall, we had bought the business in the spring. By the fall, I was really feeling pretty rotten. I was starting to miss a couple of days a week sometimes. Um, and, uh, oh, hold on a second. Let's see. Cam wants to bring me into the video for one second. Hello. Let's see if it works. We're connecting with Cam. I see you, Cam. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Cam? Hello? Nope. Okay. L Lynn can hear you. Other people can hear you. I can hear you, you further. Can hear me? It's okay. okay. Just keep going. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. I don't know if he can hang up or not. I don't know if we can. I, there we go. Okay. He's gone. Um, so anyway, so I wasn't feeling well. And then in the fall, um, my husband actually got really sick. Um, got, felt like he sort of got the cold and it seemed like it progressed to the flu. He was coughing, not feeling well. And it ended up at the end of October, beginning of November. Um, he was so sick and coughing so violently that we had to call the ambulance. The ambulance took him in and um, he had actually broken all of his ribs from coughing so hard. And they pretty much told us he should get his uh, parents out, uh, that they weren't 100% sure if he was really going to make it. Uh, it was a big blow to us. Um, luckily, we had lots of awesome staff. Our staff would actually come on their supper hours and visit Cam in the hospital. I spent most of my time between uh, working where I could a little bit and the hospital and back to take care of the kids and the kids all taking care of each other It was really quite a mess. Hi, Gary um, so this went on for oh, Six weeks or so I think before Cam was finally at home back from the hospital and what they had found is they found that he had lost over half his lung capacity and half his lung function. And it was a year or two after that that they found out as well that his bone marrow was failing. So double whammy. All of a sudden we've gone from nice happy family with six kids, just built a new house, just bought a new business to my husband can't work now. Uh, was seriously ill, had problems breathing, had problems with his uh, blood from his bone marrow. And I was sick on top of it all. So the next, oh, probably seven years became this awful nightmare of a life. Um, we had our kids at home. Some of them were quite young. Some were in middle school. Some were in high school. And they were taking care of us almost more than we were taking care of them. We couldn't do things with them anymore. We couldn't go out and do activities. Uh, our two youngest kids, in fact, our very youngest one, was only about four or five years old at the time. He spent most of his time at home literally babysitting my husband, um, watching over him, helping him with oxygen and nebulizers, calling the ambulance when he needed it, uh, calling me at work to say, Dad's going in by ambulance. It was a really hard, hard, hard time of our lives. Um, it got to the point where I was missing two, three, four days a week of work because I was so sick. Um, life was really, really difficult. And I had um, some staff, business sort of got tough. We went through the 2008 recession thing and everything cut back and we slowly cut back on our business. And I had this one girl, a new girl that I had hired to help out on weekends. And she'd give me the chance to get away one weekend and we were going to visit our grandchildren that were um, in another province. And as we were headed out, I was kind of getting a little stuffed up and stuff. And um, I dropped by to drop off the keys for the buildings for her. And she said, hold on. She says, I want to give you something. Uh, and I kind of went, okay, great. And she handed me, I'll show you. She handed me a little thing that looked like this. And it was a little roller. So this little roller here that she handed me, she said, use this for your cold so that you don't get really sick and you don't get the grandkids sick. And I said, oh, great. Thank you very much. I said, what is it? And she goes, oh, it's some essential oils. It'll help fight off the cold. So I said, okay, great. Thank you very much. And I said, how do I use it? Because I had no idea. And she goes, well, just like roll it on over like your glands and your throat, your chest, and you can put it on the bottom of your feet if you don't like the smell of it. 
And actually it smelled really good. It smelled kind of like cinnamon and cloves, sort of like Christmas spice or something. So I took this stuff and I rolled it all over me. And we drove to Calgary actually, a six hour drive. And my husband was complaining because the car stunk like this weird stuff. And I said, I don't want to get sick, so I'm going to try it. We got to Calgary, went to bed, got up the next morning to spend time with the grandkids. And I really wasn't sick. It was like, okay, that's pretty neat coincidence. I was not full-blown, cold, nasty, feeling awful. And so I kept using it because I liked the smell of it. So I called it my winter perfume. And when I got back home after the weekend... I said to my friend, hi Christine, um, hi Jen, and I said, I wanted like a whole bunch of these. Can you make like a dozen of them? I want to give them to all my kids, my family, my friends and stuff. And she said to me, um, no, why don't you like, come out to an oil class and actually learn about these oils? They can do a whole bunch of great stuff for you. And I kind of went, okay, sure. I mean, help me with my cold, might as well. I mean, my life is kind of in the toilets right now it's you know I'm not doing well so I might as well try it and see if there's something that might be able to help me so I did I went out to this oil class and this is what I want to show you about what I learned and then I can explain how it made such a big difference in my life so I went to this oil class and they showed me this box which looks really pretty and um, when they opened the box up in it there is um, this thing of oils in it so I got that here as I knock everything over and it was this in there along with a couple of other things in there actually another oil that they had in here I'll grab that one out here and they went through and there was like I don't know a dozen people that were at this class all sitting at this lady's house and they started passing these oils around and everybody was smelling them and they were all telling stories about how these oils did these crazy, wonderful, fantastic things in their lives. And I kind of thought they were all nuts, um, but I was fascinated. And, um, aha, you can hear me now, Cam. Good. <laughs> um, so I was like kind of fascinated, but kind of still thought all these people in this room must be crazy. But I loved the stories that they were telling. So I want to try and go through this really quickly. They, this oil thing that they showed me also came with a diffuser which was kind of cool so that's the thing that's missing away from me but I'll, I'll go through these really quickly and kind of give you a rundown so you have an idea about why this was so important and why I wanted to do this little class for you guys okay so one of the oils that's in there is this one called lemon and what I like to tell people about is this like box of oils here it's kind of like a first aid kit everything you would have in that closet cupboard thing in medicine cabinet in your bathroom um, that has all the, you know, cold medicine, Pepto-Bismol, Tylenol, you know, all that kind of stuff in it. Um, acne medication, all that. This would replace all of that stuff. Hi, Amanda. So the lemon is the first one that they were showing. And it smells like fresh lemons. Hi, Mark. Um, and it's got to be one of my favorite oils. It literally, to me, is happiness in a bottle. In the mornings when I get up... Um, I put a drop in my diffuser first thing in the morning and then I have this it smells like Florida or California where I just was and it smells wonderful it's just this happy uplifting wake you up make you smile smell and another thing about lemon that's really pretty cool it's it's actually approved by Health Canada um, so if you're from Canada as a natural health product to help with coughs and colds so I know this is one that um, my grandson uses or well his mom uses for him because he's two um for when he has uh, a cold and she puts a drop in the diffuser and it really seems to help um sort of break things up and and get through the cold faster so it's wonderful for that it's also known as like a happiness pathway oil um if you there was a study that was done and um with you know those weird brains mapping scanning helmet things they put on and it shows that when you actually inhale, like when you sniff lemon, if you sniff it for 20 minutes a day, so I'd suggest put it in your diffuser unless you want to walk around sniffing lemon and looking like a crazy woman um, or crazy man, it will actually create a happiness pathway in your brain. It lights up a part of your brain that deals with happiness. So if you know somebody who is a sourpuss grumpy pants, um, lend them a diffuser 
put lemon in it and just tell them to put it on every morning and all of a sudden guess what they're not going to be so miserable anymore and i know this for a fact i have a friend that did this and she is she will tell you herself she is happier now is it true that citrus oils are dangerous to pets um citrus oils all citrus oils like lemon lime grapefruit and those are all photosensitive um the danger really with that is that if you put it on your skin and go out into sunshine you can get a reaction which means you could get like a, a it's like some medications it says right on them when you get them it says um caution photosensitivity may cause rash um type reactions so like a hives rash even a burning um like a sunburn type thing so i would never suggest using um a citrus oil topically in the summertime when you're going out in the sun uh, as far as for animals there is so much stuff out there on the internet about this is toxic and will kill your cats and your dogs and your everything else you can always hear my bird in the background we have actually three diffusers within 10 feet of the bird cage three different diffusers that are always running all the time birds have the most sensitive respiratory systems and um the bird's been fine we've had the bird for three years and it loves the oils in fact we have a, a feather spray that we use that we've made up with essential oils and it really helps to calm the bird um with cats yes there are high uh phenol oils are not good for cats main thing is if you're using an oil around any pets just make sure that they are not trapped in a small little like six by six room with the diffuser going let them be able to come and go away from the diffuser if they don't like it they'll leave most animals are very smart about knowing what is good and what's toxic to them they won't go and eat plants that are going to kill them generally i mean you could hear the odd story about a cat that's gotten into poinsettia or something like that but generally they know they know best they will leave um one of my uh, daughters her when she gets cold she has like eucalyptus and thieves and RC and she'll put oregano in the diffuser and she doesn't normally use oregano. Oregano is a high phenol, not really a good thing for cats. When she puts it on, the cat doesn't sleep in her room. It just goes and sleeps in the living room. It knows it goes away. Um, so as long as you're not taking a whole bottle and dumping it all over your cat or your dog or your whatever, honestly, I really wouldn't worry. Think about diluting it. If you've got a little chihuahua, it's about the same size as a newborn baby. You're not going to use full strength oils on a newborn baby. Don't use it on your Chihuahua either. There's great reference books out there. I suggest get a book, a good one, read it. And if you need one, I can let you know what's a good one. Okay, so lemon, let's go on here quickly. Um, lavender's in here. Most people have heard of lavender oil before. A lot of people have used it before. Um, it smells relaxing. It's um, actually Health Canada approved for a whole bunch of stuff. I believe it's digestive. It's help, uh, helpful for uh, by Health Canada for headaches, for calming, for um, cuts, burns, bruises. Uh, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. So I use this in the diffuser at nighttime a lot of the time or in the evening just to unwind, calm, relax, de-stress. Um, I actually use it for headaches and I think that's because they're probably stress related. Um, so I'll just like literally put a drop on and then I'll rub it over my temples I find it really helps well for that uh, we've used it for whenever <laughs> my kids they know that this is my saying I always go put lavender on it and they bug me about it especially when we're out camping we never go camping without lavender um, great for sunburns cuts scrapes scratches bruises bangs the kids they like to go hiking dirt biking cycling um, and so they are constantly falling banging themselves up and we always put lavender on it whenever there's a break in the skin there's like natural antibacterial antiviral antiseptic type properties to lavender so it's good to be able to protect yourself by putting lavender on it hi Trev so lavender don't leave home without it first aid in a bottle great for relaxation and all that stuff uh quickly on to the next one. Oh, here because you're on trev rc um rc is short for respiratory care this is a blend of oils it's not a single oil and um to me it smells like lemongrass it has i think four different eucalyptuses in it uh and i'd have to look up and see what else was in it but anyways it's a blend of a bunch of different oils that help with breathing this one was the lifesaver for my husband 
when I got this oil kit and I brought it home, my husband went, get that stuff away from me. You're killing me. I can't breathe. Uh, lo and behold, he finally realized that some of these oils worked. I think it was lavender and peppermint we used on him, first of all, for headaches. And then he started realizing we put a drop of this. I would put it in the living room, in the diffuser. And we realized he was sitting out there a lot more often. And he wasn't seeming to be struggling to breathe as much. And eventually, we realized it was actually helping his respiratory system quite a bit. And he now puts a drop of this in his diffuser, uh, side of his bed, every night when he goes to sleep. And right now, when he's down south, he puts a drop of it all the time in his diffuser whenever he's in the trailer. And he went from being at home in bed probably 75% of the time because he was struggling so hard to breathe to uh, and he was using oxygen and nebulizers and every puffer under the sun. Now he is no longer on oxygen. We returned all the oxygen uh, equipment. He is no longer using nebulizers. We returned all the nebulizer equipment. And the only puffer he actually uses anymore is a rescue inhaler. And I think he's maybe used it twice in the last year, honestly. So this is really helping to support his respiratory system. And it's Health Canada approved for cough and cold. So it helps with all of that, you know, respiratory crap that you're dealing with with coughs and colds. So Trev, you need this. Go see Jenny. She has some. Um, next one, Thieves. This is the one that I was given for my cold. And this is the one that like got me hooked with the whole idea of using oils. It's another blend and it has um, cinnamon bark, uh, eucalyptus, oh my gosh, clove, lemon, and rosemary, I think, in there. I can't remember. Anyways, a uh, whole blend of oils, all that help with antibacterial, antiviral type properties, and Health Canada approved again for coughs and colds. So instead of using all of those medications that you have in your cabinet in your bathroom that are for like i don't know nyquil cold stuff buckley's cough syrup stuff all those cough cold things if you actually when you buy them and they come in the box and you take them out of the box there's like that pamphlet that's inside that's all folded up to this size with writing on it that you need a microscope to look at when you open that up the sheet's like this size like an eight by ten sheet and double-sided and it's got all of these warnings on may cause what, liver failure, cancer, uh, uh, I don't know, like a gazillion things that it can cause. Why would you take something that has all of those risks for a stuffy nose and feeling congested and a little crappy? Why wouldn't you just throw that in your diffuser, maybe rub a little bit on your chest and you can put it on the bottom of your feet to boost your immune system all through the cold season? To me, it's a no-brainer. So, love this stuff. Everybody in our house uses it. Um, another one that's in here, Digize. Digize Digestive System. Health Canada approved for helping you with your digestive system. So, you know that commercial, what's it? Upset stomach, nausea, heartburn, diarrhea. Okay, you know which commercial I'm talking about in the product. There's that one. There's the other stuff that you chew for upset, heartburn, whatever. All that stuff that you take read the warning labels for that this stuff is not all that great for you but uh, this stuff here if you like ginger you love the smell of it if you don't like ginger you will probably hate the smell of it um, when I first smelled this it almost made me sick it's called digest. Uh it has ginger fennel aniseed peppermint whole bunch of stuff like that in it it's not something you would really throw in the diffuser mind you if you're really nauseous it would probably be a good way to get it into you, like when you're pukey with a, you know, cold flu type thing. Um, so generally what you do is just sort of rub it. If you've got heartburn, you'd rub it here. If it's an upset stomach, you'd rub it here. Um, if you don't like the smell of it, you can literally rub it on the bottom of your feet. It's going to soak into your system and, and give you relief in minutes anyways. I know people that use this that within like literally 30 seconds a minute and that heartburn upset stomach thing is gone um it's one that's even great for like little kids and stuff like that even colicky babies literally honestly wave it in front of them they'll breathe it in and it can settle them down really 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 quickly because it's helping with that whole you know that that digestive issues that they're having um so digize wonderful wonderful oil great hey allison um Another one here that we've got, 
and this is really popular if you go to I won't say the name of it but there's an oil store that's usually in a lot of the malls um, that sells oils retail um, they have this they have peppermint and they have a peppermint roller that they will suggest you roll on for headaches peppermint's really well known for people for headaches for me I don't actually use peppermint for headaches I use lavender for headaches peppermint for me is too strong it will actually kind of offend my headaches so I don't use it personally for headaches but like 99% of the people I know that's what they use it for it's a really wow like wakes you right up if you're driving long distances like when you drive from British Columbia down to California so you can get away from the snow this is a great way to stay awake it is so um, strong bright like it really wakes you up and clears your nose up if your nose is stuffy um, it's actually Health Canada approved for cough cold it's what uh, and this is a really wild one that just blew me away Health Canada actually has approved this oil for rheumatoid arthritis so if you have joint pain whether it's rheumatoid arthritis or just any other type of joint or muscle pain like I get achy wrists or um, I got like a tennis elbow the other day it was literally almost had me in tears the, the achy pain from it I put peppermint on it and within 30 seconds that was it it was just gone um, I'll use it on my knees if I overdo it at the gym or even on my arm muscles because I've been working out trying to build up my arm muscles a bit so they're a little tender when I come home from the gym sometimes and I'll just uh, put some peppermint on it when you're using oils you can put them in the diffuser you can um, smell them you can apply them topically the when you apply them topically here let me just grab something I will show you okay I'm back you want to dilute your oils because oils honestly are not the cheapest thing out there um, so you need to spread them out so that they last longer so you can use like coconut oil which is sort of I think the thing people go to most or you can buy um, like uh, a vegetable type thing like um, olive oil grapeseed oil apricot seed oil this one is a blend it's called V6 six different vegetable type oils and and then yeah, the bottle's leaking um, <laughs> I spilt it uh, you can add so like you know half teaspoon quarter teaspoon a teaspoon whatever of a carrier oil like those and then add a drop of peppermint and put it on your hands and then you can rub it over a larger area so that way it kind of spreads it out it dilutes it down a little bit it's not quite as strong because um, peppermint's so strong it almost it's like that icy cold burning sort of feeling um, so some of the oils you really want to kind of dilute them down and it helps to make them go further and you can spread them out so it works really good for you know if you're doing like a massage thing for sore muscles um, peppermint also really good for digestive so if you've got like really bad digestive issues use the digest that peppermint to it uh, another one here pan away and this one here smells like root beer I don't really like root beer that much so it's not my favorite smell it's a blend it is got um, clove in it which kind of clove tends to be like a numbing thing a lot of people used to use cloves for toothaches um, it has peppermint in it it has helichrysum in it and it has wintergreen in it um, so it smells like to me like those wintergreen lifesavers it's really amazing for pain and uh, all sorts of pains um, helichrysum is kind of like a healing type um, essential oil so if you have pain like damage pain sort of things like a joint damage or um, any type of that this is a nice one because the helichrysum is an added element to help with the healing process um, like I know people that have had surgeries and have scars and stuff like that and they've got like some nerve damage around the scar area they've used this with to help with the pain and it seems to help in the whole healing process um, so it's something that is a great tool to have uh, instead of like maybe your rub a535 type thing so you're using a more natural way of, of doing it this is one I would definitely dilute down it's um, kind of a you know that mintier stronger um, oil you want to dilute it down and it'll also go further because this is honestly not one of the cheapest oils in the world it's quite an expensive one by itself it's like 50 bucks so Canadian so Americans that's cheaper for you anyways another oil that they've got here like the oils never end in this kit um, 
is purification. Now, purification is, um, I'd say, anti-stink oil. If you have anything that stinks, like you've got kids that do football or hockey or sports and they've got their gym bag type stuff and everything in there smells of sweaty, yucky kids, um, put a drop on a cotton ball or two and throw it in there. Um, I will add a drop of this to my dryer balls. Hi, Katie. Um, dryer balls, add a drop to it and throw it in um, with the, a drop or two of the oil in the last five minutes of my dryer cycle and it just gives a nice fresh smell. I know uh, both Caitlin and I have actually used it when we're cleaning, doing janitorial cleaning. And we will add a drop of it to like the toilet brush when you're scrubbing the toilet so that the toilet brush doesn't stink. And um, we'll add uh, a drop of it onto like a cotton ball and throw it in the garbage cans or even the your paper towel rolls the cardboard part on the inside add a drop to it so it's every time you're spinning it you're getting a little freshness so it's great for that another thing it works for and I have really not understanding at all of why um, I think it's something to do with I think there's lemongrass in here is for earaches and this is not a medical claim or anything. I just want to kind of let you guys know because if you happen to ever deal with earaches or you have kids that have earaches all the time, like I grew up with always earaches, you literally just take a drop of it, rub it on the front of your ear and behind the ear. And I, I, whenever I get an earache, it's almost always both ears at the same time. A cold, you get stuffed up. And I will do one. And then by the time I get over here, by the time I do this on this side, pain's gone here. And then by the time I put the cap on and put it away, paint's gone here. I don't know why. I, it's a blend of different oils. And I could look it up, I guess, and, and look at the scientific stuff. But it's just a little tip. Kind of like, you know, the old wives' tale, put butter on a burn. Don't do that. Put lavender on a burn. Um, but it's just one of those things. So I wanted to share it with you. I also use it on my knees. It seems to help the achy knees sometimes, too. I Again, I'm not sure. It's got to be something to do with whatever the oils are that are blended in this. So if you want to, I can look it up and find out. My neighbor actually has my great big oil Bible right now with all the information in it. Okay, nether oil. Frankincense. Uh, frankincense, everybody has probably heard of, even if you don't read the Bible, because um, it's mentioned in there, I think, a million times. Frankincense is oh, one of my absolute favorites right now. I just can't seem to get enough of this one. It's... Uh, it's, it's, I would call it like a meditation type smell. I don't know. Like, uh, as a teen, I used to always burn incense in the house. I think it drove my mom nuts. And this is what, this kind of reminds me of that. Um, except for a lot of those incenses have got nasty chemicals in them. And these don't. So, uh, that's another thing. I said I never even really mentioned what essential oils are. Um, they're, they're from plants. So, flowers, trees the bark, the um, leaves, the flower, like all of it. So the, this is actually from tap from the resin of the tree is what frankincense is. It is something I would suggest, you know what, go on to the internet and Google frankincense. Health Canada does not have any specific medical claims to frankincense. They do for sacred frankincense for cough and cold. And I'll tell you in our house, it's like a, a wonder drug for my husband. <laughs> um, Sacred frankincense will, it's approved for cough and cold, and it will stop a cough for him in 30 seconds or less. Um, frankincense is a really good one for skin. I, at nighttime, I always put a drop on my hand along with my moisturizer, and then I put it all over my face. Um, anywhere on my face that has any weird, like, dry, patchy, strange thingies on my face, I will put frankincense on it because it's great for your skin. It's good for any, like, where you've got any skin irritations, you know, cuts, sort of things like that. I'll put frankincense on it as well. It's incredibly relaxing. It's great for like meditation, winding down at the end of the day. And I put it in my diffuser at nighttime every night. It just completely just takes me to that next level. So I really, really like frankincense. It's very calming. If you're an anxious type person, it's a great one for just settling things down. Um, another oil that they have in here is called Copaiba really has almost no smell to it like honestly nothing really um, some people say it's calming for them I'm not quite sure if it's the scent they find calming or what I really don't see much to the scent 
The Copaiba is kind of known as an enhancer. It will work along with other oils to kind of amplify the effect. And it's also has natural anti-inflammatory type properties. So if you have something like when I have um, like that tennis elbow I was telling you about, it was like all tingly and like a sciatic nerve pinch. Um, I will use the Copaiba because it seems to calm it down. Um, I guess that's where that calming property comes from. And then I add peppermint to it because of that cooling effect. And I add lavender to it because I put lavender on everything. So like this little trio here is my funny bone sort of calmer or sciatica calm down sort of thing. Um, my mother-in-law, she tore her rotator cuff. This is what we use on that too to help calm it down and just literally take the pain away because peppermint is one that's for like muscle joint pain as well. Um, so that trio seems to really work just wonderfully. Uh, there's one other oil that's in the kit here. Um, now the, the kits do slightly vary from country to country. This kit I'm showing you is actually from Canada. Uh, the uh, bonus oil kind of that they put in the Canadian kit, oh, oh, oh. Caitlin, this is your favorite, is Northern Lights Black Spruce. And uh, it's really, it smells like trees. If you like to go out and be out in the forest and camping and hiking and all that kind of stuff, um, you will really, really will like this one. It's just so grounding. It is calming and just takes away the anxiousness and anxiety from your day and everything else. It is wonderful. I put it in my diffuser at night along with the frankincense and it just, wow. Like, just like every worry you've ever had is just, it's gone. Zend out of you. Um, so it's a wonderful one. It's also supposed to be really good for skin. Um, I use it actually a drop of the, the, each of those in my hand along with my um, nighttime moisturizer and put it all over my face. Somebody said it's brightening and tightening. I don't know what just it's good for skin and it's does that help that calming bit down at nighttime just to bring me down and get me ready for bed. I know other people have said they've used it for skin conditions and stuff like that. I don't know um, how what, what the story is behind that, but I do know it's one that a lot of people have mentioned, so it's something you could research into a little bit and see. It's a tree oil, so a lot of the tree oils are very calming. Um, maybe you could research into that if that's an issue for you. If you happen to be in the States, their bonus oil is Stress Away, which I thought I had right here, but I don't think I do. Hold on one second, I did have it right here. found it. Okay, so this is Stress Away. And literally, it is what it says, Stress Away. It's really calming. It has in it uh, cedarwood, which by itself smells like cat pee, at least to me, honestly. But when it's blended in here, they have lime in here and uh, vanilla. And most people love the smell of vanilla. It's just a, that wonderful baking smell. So it's really great. So Stress Away is in the U.S. as the bonus oil. Um, they also, instead, I think of RC have Raven, which is very similar. Instead of purification, they have Citrus Fresh, which is a citrus blend, which is also great for nice, fresh smell type things. Um, so that's all in this kit. So, I mean, like, there's so much, like, so much, tons that you can do with all of those oils. And um, there's also a couple other things. I'll show you those afterwards. But so what happened was I got this kit. And um, when I got it, when I went to the class, I heard all these stories and I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing stuff. And then I wanted the kit and they told me how much it was. I almost had a heart attack. They said it was like 200 bucks. And I went, you've got to be kidding me. But then I went and did a little bit of research and I went to the health food stores and stuff like that. And I looked at the prices of some of the oils and I went, oh my God, I had no idea how much some of these oils cost. Like I said, the one oil here, um, it's like a $50 oil by itself, so it's like a quarter of the kit. And then the diffuser is worth like 80 bucks. Um, so it's, uh, I kind of did the research and went, okay, it's actually a really good value because if I bought everything singly, it'd be like $500 worth of stuff. So I went home and I um, saved up for the next paycheck and I got the kit and I said I'm getting it as a Christmas present to myself. 
And when I got it, I said, well, I better get my money's worth out of it. I'm going to use it. And I used it for literally everything I could. For I used it for, you know, when I had the headaches and when my neck was stiff and sore and my muscles hurt and my joints hurt and my stomach was upset and when I couldn't sleep. So I was using these oils and using and using them. And after three months, all of a sudden I noticed it just wasn't getting headaches anymore. And I was a person that had headaches every single day. I mean, every single day, really bad. I was going through handfuls of like ibuprofen, Tylenol, naproxen, 222s, you name it. So the oils were literally getting rid of the headaches. I had no idea how that worked, why that worked. Um, and my joint pain was really not nearly as bad. My stomach issues were settling down a little bit. I wasn't feeling literally like I had the flu all the time. I felt quite a bit better. And um, noticed the same thing with my husband. He was feeling a little bit better. So I started researching them. I'm like, okay, so there's obviously something here about these oils. So I started researching about them a little bit. And I found out for every oil I was using, I wasn't using a more toxic option. Like I said, you always see all those info pamphlets inside of all that over-counter stuff that you buy and all of the risks with it. So it has a lot of side effects, all that stuff. This is mother nature, it's plants, it's basic. There's no extra chemicals or synthetic stuff used in it. Um, the farms that it comes from, they don't spray with pesticides and everything else, it's, it's this pure stuff. So then I found out one of the big things I needed to do was start removing more toxic stuff out of my life. So get rid of chemicals that were part of my life. Like if you look under your kitchen sink, Honestly, look under your kitchen sink and pull out the, what, 50 different products you have under your kitchen sink and your bathroom sink, and every single one of them has the skull and crossbones on it, um, poison, you know, and, and like the corrosive hand pictures on it that you need to wear gloves if you're using it and put a mask on because you don't want to breathe it in. I got rid of all that stuff. I literally got rid of all of that. Um, I replaced just about everything that I cleaned my house with, actually everything that I cleaned my house with, with one thing and it's Thieves Cleaner. It's from the same company that makes the oils and um, it's made with a plant-based soap and essential oils. Essential oils are have the antibacterial, antiviral, antimicrobial property stuff, whatever, right, that kills all the stuff. And it smells, you can smell it. It smells good. In fact, you kind of want to chug it, but don't do that. But it's safe. Like, I can literally take this, put it on my hands straight, and use it to, like, clean my hands. You wouldn't do that with the corrosive skull and crossbone hand corrosion stuff that's under your sink. So I clean my kitchen. I clean my bathroom. I clean the kids' rooms. I clean everything in the house. The walls, the windows, the floors. Even in my carpet shampoo, I'll put it in. And I even started using it in my businesses. So... This replaced all of those toxic commercial cleaners that I used in my buildings with this. So now myself, my family, my staff, everybody is using something that's not harmful to their respiratory system. They're not breathing all those chemicals in. It's not harmful to their hands. I'm not worried about toilet bowl cleaner splashing up in their eyes because they can just use this. So really wonderful stuff. Super concentrated too. I have like a spray bottle and I will put a half a cap full of this in there and then fill the rest up with water and then use that to spray and clean everything. See, and I don't care if it gets all over me, anything, it doesn't matter. It's not going to be harmful. I can use it as like a cleaner. Um, so that got rid of probably like 75% of the toxic chemicals I was using in my house and in my business. And Lo and behold, I started feeling better because I didn't have that chemical load and burden on my body. And my body was not being all messed up with all the chemicals. And I did more research and I found out that lots of our other products actually have toxic chemicals in them. You know, all the SLS, SLES, and phthalates and all that stuff. Google it all. Um, look up Dirty Dozen chemicals. Um, so I changed out my... Um, I changed out my laundry soap, I changed out my dish soap, I changed out my hand soap with the foaming hand soap, I changed out my toothpaste. Did you know toothpaste has nasty chemicals in it that you really don't want in your system? Did you notice it says do not swallow, called poison control if swallowed, on your toothpaste? Yeah, 
Google some stuff. Honestly, people. Um, I use a fruit and veggie spray wash to clean pesticides and stuff like that off my fruits and vegetables so that I'm not ingesting them. Um, literally, and I changed up my shampoo, conditioner, my body wash, my makeup. Did you know your makeup has like crap loads of toxic chemicals in it that you put on your skin? You literally eat your lipstick. Um, everything soaks in through your skin into your bloodstream. So anyways, to put a long story short, after a year after getting into all this stuff, um, my husband was off oxygen, off nebulizers, off his puffers. Um, the damage that was physically done to his body is still there and it's not reversing, but he is no longer getting any sicker and he can actually kind of enjoy life again, do things with the family. Um, myself, um, I no longer have the headaches. I don't use any medications whatsoever. I'm off all the medicines they had me on for my fibromyalgia. Um, no more pain pills, no more anxiety pills, no more sleeping pills, no more mood stabilizing pills. Um, I don't use anything for stomach aches. I don't use anything for joint pain. I don't use anything for, I don't use anything. I use the oils whenever I have any issue that comes up. I'm feeling better. I now, instead of spending two days a week in bed where I can't get out because I'm in so much pain instead of missing three, four days a week of work. I'm able to work all the time, although I don't work full time anymore. Um, I am able to go out hiking. I cycle. I go to the gym every day. I do yoga. I love to kayak and paddleboard. I am active again. I have my life back. My kids are so happy. They have their mum back. Um, I can actually uh, play with my grandkids, get down on the floor, wrestle with them. I can do whatever, but grandmas are made for reading and cuddling, not wrestling. Um, so yeah, I had to share it all and I think I've babbled on for forever. Oh, one or two other little tiny things in the kit. They also have awesome hand sanitizer. It smells like candy canes. Great. Not sticky, not nasty, not chemical. Um, they have these little sample bottles so you can share the love with everybody with your oils. They have this really cool roller top so you can put it onto one of your oils so you can like roll it and apply it on. Oh, and then they have this really quick. This is called Ninja. Like like the fighters, you know, nin ninja, not, not ninjas. Um, although the kids all call it ninja juice. Um, it's made from wolfberries, like goji berries. Uh, super high antioxidant, really good for like whole body wellness health, kind of like liquid vitamin. Um, I find it really helps me with brain fog clarity. It helps with the inflammation in my body, fights free radicals. Um, has made a huge difference. Everybody in our family has... This is two ounces, so one to two ounces of this every single freaking day. Um, have it in the morning, don't need coffee, wakes me up, feel energized, feel great. My husband likes to take these, throw them in the freezer and have them like a slushy. Really good. Um, pack them in kids' lunches. Um, yeah, they're just awesome. Anyways, I better let you guys go. I think I've babbled on for like an hour. Have a great weekend. Love you all. Um, if you're in Canada and you want to get one of these kits, they're actually... Uh, 20 bucks off right now. So instead of 200 bucks, it's like 180, 179.99, whatever. Um, so if you want one, message me and I'll get you set up. And yeah, y'all should try this. Bye. Love ya.